when we were growing up, Chinese New Year was fun. Uh. I mean, like one of the very fun things is like having ice cream when you guys come because that's the time that we always have ice cream, you know, and we always know and mom was like, we need to buy ice cream. Yes, <laughs> ice cream and longans and lychees, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. To love, so your, your house is the only house. To to and dad will always refer to your house as the ice cream house. So we know, oh, they ask you, auntie, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I know, I, we know which one, but again, like, you know, yeah. actually, just remember the ice cream. Yeah, we don't, don't know which direction which direction we are going to. We just know that it's that's the ice cream house. And then they always say ping ping coco. Are there ping ping coco is the one and then you always serve us the ice cream so we know it's okay. This this house is got ping coco. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, See, so it's nice like one little something, you know, that connects the family and you remember it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Little um, yeah, little stories like that 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 are um uh, are collecting, uh. Um, I, I I have a I have a blog uh, which I put all these stories into. I think I I, I gave it to you, right? The one. The, yeah, the, you gave me a blog, but I haven't got a chance to see all uh, of okay, them. Whenever, because it contains yeah. sides of my family from uh, my mom's side, the the Niao, the San Niao, and the the San Lim, which is what you you you'll be interested in the San Lim one because. That's where you're connected to to, to me. Yeah. 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 So you you uh, mm. you talk a lot about my grand uh, my my Akpong, who uh, I again lah, nobody knows anything about him, uh, and um, uh, some very vague uh, uh, memories of him. Um, uh, and and you know the the information I know I I I have about him was from the archives. Can you believe that? Luckily, he, he, he did some interesting things, you know, to, to, to be mentioned in, in the newspapers. If not, uh, that have no idea that he did this. And yeah. Did this. Yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 My, my, like, uh, mom, mom is good in the sense that my mom, like, she used to tell us stories. And actually, spending a lot of time with your, your grandma and my mom, and they exchange old stories. And that's where I hear a lot of funny, funny old stories. And then there's another one about, my grandma, because granddad always, I mean, he's always doing business, right? So he's always out and about. So grandma spends a lot of time and she actually does, she loves to gamble. So all her friends will come and gamble. But the minute my grandfather comes home, because granddad, he has private rickshaw that takes him to his work and he comes back. So he's like big boss, you know, got car, got rickshaw, private drivers. He came back, you know, everybody will scramble, right? Some will hide in the toilet. So until he, he settled, he goes away. It's just like those shows, you know. Yeah, so I remember Grandma loves to have, that's her company. La. And I remember she said the house is always full of people because Granddad always feed people. I think in the old days, it's like, oh yeah, whoever has nothing, oh yeah, come, come, I feed everybody, you know. So the house is always full of people. I mean, I remember my mom has a very, I would think the way she described me, she has a very happy childhood, you know. It's like, even though she is very well, like very well, uh, provided for of course that has everything you know but they are never spoiled and she used to say that even if she needs to change pencil she used the father will always say can you show me your short pencil so you got to show him that your pencil is like really this short i need to buy a new pencil okay okay here you go there you go go and buy your pencil and i think he's i mean granddad is also quite open-minded like he allows my mom to study you know which i think those times they wouldn't yeah. like mom yeah, mom had a great time. I was looking all through her photograph. Like she has a lot of fun. They go out together with their friends, group of friends. I could see all their photographs, you know. Yeah, probably that's why she married so late, you know. <laughs> ah. She's probably sure that she marries when she was, I think, in her 30s something, which is quite unusual at that time, you know, because she yes. had so much fun going everywhere. And yeah, I remember she says they sit in the, at that time, they even have the Queen Elizabeth cruise ship ready. She cruised down with her mother to Singapore and things like that. Like, oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Granddad must be doing quite well because like when he travels, apparently in the cruise ship, the captain has a captain table and he will eat with the captain on the captain table. So I say, hmm, that must be good times then. <laughs> yeah. I, I, so she, yes. Yeah. She does have a pretty good childhood. Yeah, well, according to Pukong, the your granddad uh, uh, was a rich man. Uh, uh, yeah, and, he uh, and his father uh, was also a, a rich man. But uh, the Medan one, which is my which is my ama's 
uh, Lin Lam Tengok there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he lost his fortune uh, after the war. So it seems the uh. Japanese uh, took away uh, everything. You see, it, uh, there was, uh, I remember he mentioned that he, he, their family had a petrol station as well. They were supplying petrol. And then uh, they are, it was just taken by, by, over by the Japanese. And then uh, after the war, they just couldn't recover uh, anything, uh, any of their wealth back. And then, so that's why he now lives. Uh, he, yeah, he's a, he's a, uh, I would say that Wukong lives a very simple life. Lah. He, 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 he has um, worked. worked he, 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 I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even consider Wukong an average class. I think it's below average, I think. Yeah, the man, the man, the man did all sorts of jobs like, from his story. Lah. He did all sorts of jobs. Yeah. So uh, now he just, and, and, and he takes care of himself right now. He, 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 I, I, I was surprised that he, he lives with his, uh, his son um, and the son is single. So they, they, he says he cooks for himself and then his son would, would work and then come home and have, have, have his dinner before coming home. So Kukong has to, has to find his own dinner. So he goes to the market, buys his own fish or whatever and, and mm. masak sendiri, like, that kind of thing. Uh, so, but yeah, so, but he used to say like, that, that uh, his father was a rich man. Like. Sending, uh, mm. sending Hasil Bumi to the Miss Your Grandpa, in, in, sister, in, in, the sister, yeah. the brother in Penang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they do a lot of business, lah, because I think those times, like you know, onions, those commodities are important. You know, things like salt, sugar, uh, rice, and uh, onions. Onions, for some reason, you know, it's like maybe it's very good or something. I have no reason, but a lot of people deal with those kind of things. It, Maybe it, Malaysia people don't do onions. I don't know. I think do we grow onions in Malaysia? Onions, I think, is considered a necessity item. It, so you, it, uh, in Malaysia, it's, I think it's the, the prices are co controlled. It's like rice, sugar, onions. Uh, these are the things that, are, that have controlled prices. The uh, oil was, a, was another one. So recently, for a very long time, our, the cooking oil was so cheap. But now they, uh, they increased it to twice the, 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 the old price. So it used to be one ringgit per kilo. Now it's two, two ringgit per kilo. But it's still okay. It's, it's not to yeah, say like, yeah, yeah it's, it's um, yeah, cooking oil. Lah. So I, I, I think onions is uh, probably something that... One of the necessity, I think. Yeah, considered mm -hmm. necessity. Lah. Okay. And, and I cannot think of any food that does not contain onion. Uh, like any, any dish, mm -hmm. Chinese dish. Lah. I think every dish, right? Yeah. Comes, I'm sorry, onion, right? Yeah. Right. Onion and garlic, yeah. right? Stir fry, curry, also you use onion, everything also you use onion. Yeah, but that's all I know ah. is that, you know, those are the things that they deal with and they earn a lot of money out of that. Ah, okay. Yeah, but the, the, the other funny thing is, uh, yeah, it's people. I think only in, 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 for my side, the family, I think only Juan is the only businessman right now. Every, everybody else, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, we all work for mm. something. Yeah, every other cousin. I can yeah, see. we all just. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's true. My side too. Like. I, yeah, I, I, I think that this is a, a legacy from the British. So the the British were, were were very much into okay, send your kids to school kind of thing, and then you know. Yeah, yeah and then and then work work for work for us. That, 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 yeah. Uh, be a estate manager or or or, or, or something mm. like that, but go to school and work work for for the British uh, um, uh, government. So that mm. that was what we all aspired. I, I mean, my 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 fathers and all that. I think that's that's, yeah. that's where they got it from, lah. Yeah. 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 That's true. What? Mm.